Hello, you wonderful Red Panda fans. So, we are here in a, a kind of special video, to be honest. This one was not planned at all. This one is uh, born by the craziness of my Twitch chat. So, on Monday, I did another live stream. And actually, what I wanted to do is what you all w w voted for and what you've seen already. And this is the uh, lovely little sketch we did from uh, the Komodo dragon exhibit. However, once we ended it, I actually I wanted to to end the stream and I just very randomly said, what about just drawing a red panda, you know, because we were talking about red pandas being that cute and, you know, one word gave the other and then I was just sitting there and I was like, hey, you know, I could just draw a panda, a red panda now. And they were like, oh yes, just do it. And I was like, ah, but you know, it's very late at night and do it. And I was like, it's, but you know, do it. And I was like, Okay, never mind. I, I think I do it. Um, and yeah, so I ended up doing this painting over here, which I'm going to talk you through now. So, um, first of all, before you are a little bit annoyed, um, I can't get rid of the overlay. And yes, it's only 720p, even though I rendered it in 1080p, which is, um, I didn't plan to do it. I didn't even plan that this would be somewhat of something that can be shown. But as always with my stuff I do, I, I just end up doing it way too good for, for what it was actually planned to be. Um, so I thought, you know what, I, I just want to give you the content and since everyone replied to the image I uploaded on Twitter um, that they wanted to see the progress if possible, I just took the footage from my Twitch stream. And as you can see, um, there is also my weird face again being way too quick for what I am just talking about right now. And also you can see for the first time ever my hands, how I'm doing it, which for me personally, it's very fascinating to see this now in a sped up version, even though um, it, it's more funny to see the, the shortcuts I'm using rather than, uh, you know, the, the the actual painting itself, because the camera doesn't really, you know, the positioning is not perfect, I should say. Um, but the, the movements I do with the, with the uh, little pen are actually too small to be seen that way. So I might consider consider relocating the camera at some point in the future but at least it was kind of cool in the stream so that people could see what I'm actually doing and then I'm actually painting it because sometimes if you jump in, into a stream you can't really tell if, if this guy is, is just watching a video or if he's actually painting so I, I thought the idea to to really show that I'm actually painting with my hands and uh, um, I, I wasn't even thinking of, of putting something onto my hand that looks like a hoof, but uh, that was a bit too much work before the stream. I, I was too lazy to do it, to be fair. Um, but yeah, so you can see, most work will go into the face of the red pen. I think this is also the most important part of it. <coughs> Anyways, I'm sorry, my voice, I recall it too much right now. Um, but yeah, uh, so I think it's the most important part because this is where all the cuteness goes in and the rest of the animal is just fluffy. It's just one big pile of fluff. Uh, I think you can call it that way. I don't know, I think they are also kind of cheeky. As, as far as I remember from them, they are being very cheeky. But they just look so cute as if they can't do anything bad in life. Like, it's not possible. They can't do anything bad. Um, <laughs> at least I want to believe this. But yeah, uh, it was a great practice, though, to... to draw this red panda again and I have to say one thing I'm in particular very happy about is the fact that I nailed the facial expressions um, at my first attempt um, and by calling it nailing it's not perfect by by any means but for being in a live stream being very late being also aware of the fact that I should potentially have gone to sleep rather than starting painting a red panda and also being very 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 out of the rhythm because the last time in fact I have been doing a digital painting that way is four years ago five years ago I don't really remember how long it was ago um, I made that's actually true one of my very first YouTube videos was a painting so might be three years ago um, yeah, it could be, it could be, could be even true. Like three and a half years ago, I, I drew the war, the this this Finn guy from Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Um, I have to admit though that this is not my most favorite work I've ever done. The proportions and the facial expressions in this example are absolutely insanely bad. So the only thing I nailed is the Star Destroyer in the background. <laughs> um, but anyways, so it, I I don't even link it. If you guys are really interested in it, um, you can search for it on my channel. It's still uploaded, and uh, if you find it, leave comment there so I see that there is one of you crazy guys that actually went back uh, to my fin uh, drawing whatever you want to call it it's a huge pile of whatever 
Um, but now we are using one of my most favorite brush tools. Oh, it's actually, it's not a brush, it's, it's this liquid finger thing, um, which uh, helped making making the fur look a bit more furry, fuzzy, uh, to make this thing actually looking that cute as it is in the end. So usually when I would do this like a professional painting right now, um, I would go through I think maybe four or five iterations of, of doing the basis for the face and stuff before I go and do the real detailing in the end. This time I, I boiled it down to just one uh, iteration of going through. So what I've, what I've done at the beginning is what I usually do. I just basically lay out everything uh, around the face and uh, the overall shape. So I have a, you know, that I have a general idea of the um, overall proportions, of the dimensions, of the colors I use. So just to have an idea of the colors. You can see that I wasn't in particular happy with the colors. So I, I put a bit more white-ish in here because as you know, these kind of liquid things, they mix up the colors quite a bit and you have to uh, think quite a little bit ahead of time uh, to, to know already what you want to use in the future uh, rather than just go in with some colors you like but then in the end if you start mixing them they get darker or, or brighter or whatever so you have to keep that in mind from the get-go um, but as I said usually I would go through like three or four iterations until I find the the, the perfect mix uh, and it takes time like this this kind of painting stuff is nothing you can do in about an hour which is exactly the time that I had in the stream I you know I had more time but I needed to go to bed so <laughs> Uh, I actually try to make sure that it is done quicker uh, than it actually should be. So as you can see, I'm already going into a bit more detailing work. So after I made the whole face a lot more fuzzy, um, I made sure that there is a lot more detail going in. Because afterwards it looks very blurred out and very... Um, de-sharpened if that's even a word so it's it's, it's masked it's masked actually uh, unsharp so that's something you don't want to have you want to have some real good outlines that give the whole face an expression and also make sure that you have the idea of having some hairs some actual physical hairs going on and this is what I try to emulate here by uh, using some of the lines and just making it all a bit more uh, sticking out but yeah as I said it's it's really it, it's really just the very beginning. It would not even be 50% done if I would do it completely fine. Like you can get very realistic in these kind of Photoshop paintings if you know how to deal with color and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I, I then noticed that we have nearly 2 a.m. and I was like, I definitely need to go to bed at some point. So I was just doing the rest of it very, very quick and dirty, which you will see in the next couple of uh, minutes. And then um, I, I did already call a day, so I will do with this video, but I wanted to talk you through again uh, to make sure that you know what I'm talking about. So first of all, one thing I am not really happy with is the, the length of this animal. It's a little bit too long, um, that's what she said, but never would say. Anyways, uh, it's, it's a little bit too long and um, therefore I would have cramped the body a bit more. So if it would be again something I would do for longer, I would then take the whole body part, the, the rear body part and move it, yeah, about 8-9% towards the front part uh, to make it less long and a bit more cr cramped because the perspective is is kind of the thing. Oh wow, the twitch notification in the background sped up is, is like a freaking disco. Um, <laughs> this is, I, I, I do get the hue lights, uh, or I, I got them a few weeks ago. Uh, they are finally set up and every once in a while if people are donating stuff or if people are following or people are subscribing, my uh, light goes, still goes crazy, which is in, in real time not that bad. It's actually a cool little effect. But uh, if you see it sped up, it's very annoying indeed. Um, but yeah, you can see um, uh, the red penna finally get its shape. And again, as I said, I, I went in with a bit more detail work here and there. Later on, I, I yes, I just adjusted a little bit of the lighting to get a bit more depth in it. But uh, yeah, this is already the overall. There we go already with the with the pen uh, doing some depth, some shadows to make sure that you can distinguish at least some of the the parts where they are and, and what they are for. But yeah, all in all, that's already the end of um, the overall drawing. Uh, again, as I said, it, it could have been a lot better if I would have had the time. So basically what I'm doing, I, I did the body in the same time I did like half the face, which uh, makes you know up for the reason why the, the overall 
uh, body isn't looking that great. Uh, but I hope you still enjoyed this and I really hope that on the 21st of September, which is the official World's Panda Day, no, World's Red Panda Day, we might see this one revealed, potentially, who knows, but I would love this one in Planet Zoo. I, you know, I would go nuts if we have this animal. This will be my most favorite animal released by now, if we don't get the camels beforehand. Anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you could imagine doing a stream of doing some stuff like that again in the future. I would be very much up for it if you guys like it. But yeah, just let me know down below and now you get the final view of this painting as, as one high-res image. And uh, I'll leave you alone uh, for now and I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day and we are going to catch each other in the next episode. Until then, have a great time and bye guys. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you appreciate that and now a special thanks also to all the people supporting me here on that channel, making this all possible. You can see that on the left hand side right now and also if you want to see more of my stuff, make sure to click that card on the right top now and if you want to stick around, make sure to hit that sub button which is on the bottom right of the screen. If you want to see stuff on my social media, sneak peeks and stuff like that, it is on the bottom left on the screen and yeah, I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, enjoy your time guys. And bye.